So, uh, good afternoon, everybody. So today we're going to continue our series of interviewing some of our students and uh, some of our actually now today we're going to interview an alumni. Um, she is one of our first group of medical students to graduate uh, from the program and now she is an intern and so I'd like everybody to welcome Bonus to the show today. Hi, Hi. Bonus. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so uh, a little bit about Bonus is that so I've known Bonus for a while now so when she started uh, medical school six years ago um, so her class was the first um, medical school class that we had and to be honest she is in the first group of Thai medical students to finish an English program in Thailand um, so for that uh, you know I think it's very uh, significant and important and so we're glad to have her today so she is actually already started internship in Hong um, and she is going to actually pursue um, interestingly enough she's going to be an ENT which is uh, what I am also an ENT so um, again welcome bonus how are you doing today very good glad to be here <laughs> so bonus um can you tell me a little bit about where you studied before you went into medicine like at cicm and everything and then now that you've already become an intern where did where were you where did you go to school when before you went to, to college uh, so I went to Petumon Demonstration School, but I studied in the English program. So I've always like been been in a program with just English. And then, interestingly, I I came to CICM, and then like we all it was quite new because there wasn't um, many programs that were medicine teaches medicine in English. And yeah, it was quite a journey. So, do you think anything, um, learning medicine in English, how do you think that is maybe helpful? Um, especially when you're, you know, medicine is a very, uh, it's a subject that has so much material in it. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you thought was benef a beneficial about learning in English? Well, I think medicine nowadays compared to the past, it's, it's a lot more, you know, it's progressed a lot and you use a lot of like science-based, evidence-based, so you need to read a lot of like research and like papers and stuff and I feel like um, being in medicine, which, which you know, you have to read a lot of those and you're in an English program, it really helps a lot and then in CICM I feel like there's a lot of opportunities for you to do like researches with the professors and I feel like it's a good stepping stone if you actually like medicine and you want to like pursue it. I really recommend like being in the English program. Okay, great. Um, so you know, uh, in medicine, for those people who don't know, we usually you spend three years in preclinical, and then you have three years of clinical. So you know, in the three years of clinical, there's so many specialties. So what? How did you figure out that you wanted to do? ENT as a specialty or how did you figure out I didn't want to do this other thing as a specialty is there anything that um, mm -hmm. you think kids that are going into medicine how they can um, or even medical students right now how they can you know figure out what's best fit for them I think it has a lot to do with like being in CICM I feel like we're a family and then like all the professors are quite close to the students mm -hmm. and interestingly I <laughs> met you <laughs> and then like, you are an otolaryngologist and I kind of like did electives with you a lot and then I figured out very early that I wanted to do what you do <laughs> <laughs> yeah so I think like if you go to CICM there's a lot of professors that could like guide you into you know what you like uh -huh. and you can do like lots of your activities and I think CM, CICM has a lot of MOUs as well so it's a good opportunity 
like to go out and like explore what you like outside as well. Before, when you were, you know, maybe in high school, how did you figure out that you wanted to do medicine? That's what we ask a lot of students. <laughs> like, how did you know that, that you wanted to be a doctor? It was quite easy for me because I come from a family of doctors. Oh, okay. My parents are doctors and my sister is a doctor. So, like, I've seen them from quite a young age and I, I really wanted to, like, do what they do which is help people and, you know, like, medicine is quite, you know, it's logical, but it's also um, an art in a way because you can't really treat them, like, you know, by the book. You need to know, like, in the action what, like, you should do then and it's kind of an art as well and I really mm-hmm. enjoy that. Great. Um, and then... I guess lastly, how are things um, now that you've moved on from being a medical student to being an intern and, you know, actually taking care of patients and, and, you know, you actually moved far from home because you actually now live in the South. Um, How how has the transition been for you? Well, I'm not going to say it's been easy, but it's been challenging enough, but um, you know, I've, I've come from, like, I have a strong set of friends and teachers and professors to talk to, especially back in Bangkok, mm-hmm. and um, I feel like that really helps a lot. And then, um, you know, when you have, like, a really strong set of goals that you want to pursue, I think it really helps a lot for you to, like, move forward and, like, improve yourself and, like, enjoy where you are at the moment. Good. Well, I'm, I'm glad. I'm happy for you. Um, <laughs> so, you know, all of us at CACM, we, you know, we were just looking back at, yeah, this is our first group of, it's almost like our kids that have gone on to become <laughs> these uh, great doctors. So, and bonus is a great representation of what um, our students are able to achieve. So thank you again, bonus, for uh, spending time with us and we'll let you get back to, uh, the hard work back in in the hospital but thank you again you're very welcome bye bye